I mean, first of all, I, I think people should not invest uh, their life savings in cryptocurrency, okay. to be clear. I think that's unwise. Cryptocurrency, something that everyone is talking about for one reason or another, but the question about it and surrounding it are both deep and profound for various reasons. Not the least of which is the fact that many are wondering if the true future of currency is in that of these digital entities. There's no true answer out there, and yet cryptocurrency is growing at a rate that is beyond what people could have predicted. So with all this going on, allow us to show you why cryptocurrency is taking over the future. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 5. Changing the Game Again Finance and payments are an ever-changing space. We have seen golden gallons of pieces of silver replaced by paper notes and then plastic cards. The age of digital has certainly helped speed along the way we use and understand money. We also now sit on the precipice of another financial revolution tied to the fourth industrial revolution. Blockchain, AI, IoT, and a bevy of other technologies are starting to permeate their way into our lives. And the older, traditional models and technologies are looking to try and keep up or falling away. But this boom in technology is the emergence of cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies, despite being older than the iPad, have really permeated the mainstream space in the last three or four years, but their impact is quickly being felt. The growth and interest in digital currencies has expanded into many banks, such as JP Morgan and Wells Fargo, who are building their own cryptos into major enterprises and even governmental agencies. In short, it's changing things. People are asking how far they can push this. Number 4. Big Business Pushes Elon Musk, the self-proclaimed techno king of Tesla, has recently made quite a name for himself in headlines. From being a leader of the meme coin Dogecoin and likely having a massive hand in pumping Bitcoin after updating his Twitter bio to include Bitcoin and subsequently buying $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin for Tesla, Musk and Saylor have put a face to the institutional acceptance towards cryptocurrency. Recently, Tesla has also announced that customers can now buy their vehicles using Bitcoin. And whether he's joking or not, he might be doing the same thing with Dogecoin. Even if he isn't, Mark Cuban might. The owner of the Dallas Mavericks has already allowed Dogecoin to be used as currency in Dallas Mavericks games, and that says a lot about the faith that he has in it. Number 3. Akon City If that's still not enough for you, you need to look at the rapper Akon, who is not only looking to make a future city in Senegal that will rival all others in the world, is going to have a cryptocurrency economy by all who live in it. Which may sound nuts at first, but this is just the way the world is changing. He even noted that while a lot of people aren't able to get paper money in Africa, a lot of them do have access to phones, and that makes them the perfect people to use cryptocurrency in a new future city. Number 2. Replacing Cash The Deutsche Bank report on the future of finance in the coming decade spent significant time looking at the prospect of cryptocurrencies. They note that this industry has been seen as an addition rather than a substitution to the global inventory of money, but this can change based on the future of cash and cards. Cryptocurrencies have always been additions rather than substitutes to the global inventory of money, the report reads. They have not managed to take off as a means of payment despite their well-known benefits such as security, speed, minimal transaction fees, ease of storage, and relevance in the digital era. So in short, there are still risks to the venture. but. Number 1. More growth equals more risk than trying it A major reason why people are willing to at least try out cryptocurrencies is because they've gone and seen people get rich off of it and use it for various purposes that makes it seem a bit easier than just waiting for paper money to come to you. The future in terms of currency is still yet unwritten in many ways, but cryptocurrencies might honestly be the future and it would take something significant to throw it off that course. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at how cryptocurrency is going and trying to transform the world of currency as we know it? Do you already invest in cryptocurrency of some kind? If so, which one? Are you with certain people in thinking that this will be the future of currency as we know it? Or will the old ways still hold firm? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time on the channel.